Hey what's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be doing a review of Originality.ai. So Originality.ai is a plagiarism checker and an AI detection tool all in one. Essentially it allows you to check your content for plagiarized text, but most importantly you can check and detect if your content was written by an AI writer. So if you're worried about your website being penalized by Google for having AI content, you can scan it by using originality.ai to see if there's AI content that's being detected and then you can make those changes as needed. Or if you'd like to scan a piece of content that a writer may have written for you and you wanna make sure that it's actually written by a human, you can use this tool to um, scan and detect any AI content within the writing that you get back. So this is a pretty unique tool and the only tool that I've come across that actually allows you to detect AI in your content. So not only can they detect GPT-3, they can also detect GPT-3.5 and chat GPT within your content. So if you wanted to get started with this tool, it's very, very easy to use. Just head over to the sign up section and you'll be able to make an account for completely free. And once you make an account, I believe you have some credits included on the free plan. So let's get started with the content scan. If you remembered in my last video, I generated a full length article using chat GPT. So what I'm going to do for this example, I'm going to copy that whole article and paste it into originality.ai and see how much or how much percentage of that content it's able to detect as being AI. So this was the 3000 word blog post in which I generated using chat GPT. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this over and let's check the percentage of plagiarized content and AI content within that article. So the scan has been completed and the AI detection score is 98% and the original percentage is 2%. So that means 90% of that article was written by AI and 2% was original. In terms of plagiarized content, only 2% of that content was plagiarized. So at least we can be confident that the content which we create with ChatGPT wouldn't be flagged for plagiarized content. Um, as you can see here, it's only 2%, but this tool is really good because it was able to pick up that most of that content was written using an AI. Now let's give this another try with an article that I uh, wrote on my website. Uh, some of the content was written using an AI copywriter, but some of it was written uh, manually. So let's see if it's able to pick up what is AI and what was written by a human. So in terms of the AI detection score, this article was 98% original and 2% was written with the AI. In terms of plagiarized content, I got a score of 94%, but that is skewed because it's comparing it to my actual website in which I copied this content from. So of course that is going to be showing a high match in terms of plagiarized content because again, I copied the content from this specific web page. So in reality, this web page is about 6% plagiarized, which is not too bad. I can live with that. Let's do a little bit of an experiment to see if we can get past these AI detection um, tools. So this paragraph here has been deemed 100% AI by originality.ai. So let's go ahead and give this a try to see if we can reduce the amount of AI content that's being detected. So in order to do this, I'll be using Jasper AI. I'll be using their content improver template and I'll be pasting in the content that we used on originality.ai and I'll be trying to see if we can get past the AI detection by improving or rewriting the content using another AI. So there is a limit of 800 characters, so I'll just leave it at that and um, let's generate the new output here. Okay, so this is the new output in which we got back. So I'm gonna head back over to originality.ai and I'm gonna paste that in here. And I'm going to do the second paragraph. Okay, so I've went ahead and read through these and uh, this output seems to be the, the best in terms of quality and relevancy. So let's copy that over again and we're going to paste it in and let's do one more paragraph. Boom, copy that here, paste it over here. Okay, let's copy that. And lastly, we're going to paste it into originality.ai. So this is now the new and improved and rewritten content um, by Jasper AI. So let's see what percentage of AI content they'll be able to detect once we've made those changes. As we remembered before, it was 100% um, detected. Now, as you can see, it's 100% original. So that's a huge, huge difference uh, from what we had before. And as you saw, it probably took me less than five minutes to um, do those corrections. So 
So here's your evidence that you can get past these AI detection tools. All you have to do is rewrite that content using another AI copywriter or improve that content or add your own manual um, touch onto your articles. And I guarantee you'll be able to reduce the amount of AI words that will be detected. And not only was there a reduction in the AI detection score, the plagiarism score was also um, reduced from 100% down to 0%. So you can not only make your content plagiarism free, you can also make it AI detection free by using this method. So the first type of scan allows you to paste your content within this text box and it'll detect any AI content and also check for any plagiarized content. The second type of scan will actually scan your full website. So you can enter uh, your full website URL and the scanner will go out and check all of your web pages to check for AI content and also to check to see if there's any plagiarized content on your website. So I've already loaded up my own personal website and I can see the percentage of original content on that website, the percentage of AI content, and I can also see the number of words um, within that specific page and I can see when that page was scanned. So just keep in mind that you need to have enough credits on your account so that this tool can go out and scan your whole website. I think because I didn't have um, enough credits. It stopped after um, a couple of my URLs, but I don't really want to pay for this tool because I don't really have a need for it at this time. So just keep in mind that one credit will be able to scan up to 100 words. So if you have a big website, then you may need to add some more credits. You start with 500 credits on the free plan, but if you run out, then you may need to add some credits onto your account. So those are the two main ways that you can scan your content to see if it's been written by AI. You can either paste your content within this text box or you can enter your website within this website scan section here and this uh, tool will scan your whole website. So this is a very, very interesting tool because if a tool like this can actually find um, and detect AI written content within your blog posts or articles or web pages, then that means it's just a matter of time until Google can actually also detect plagiarized content. So what I recommend is if you're writing content using AI, I recommend always adding a manual touch into your content. I don't recommend just generating your content and pasting it um, onto your website or blog. You always want to make sure that you're proofreading, you're editing, and you're buffing up your content so that it's much more valuable for Google. So for example, I did a scan of this blog post that I actually wrote uh, myself using an AI copywriter. It was Jasper AI, but I also added in my own um, sort of content into that blog post to make it more real like. And as you can see here, the AI detection score is 97% original and only 3% using the AI. And I'm pretty sure I used a lot more um, of the AI content than has been detected within this scan by originality.ai. So I do think that there's ways in which you can get around these AI detection tools because, again, in the first example, I just copied a blog post that I generated from chat to GPT and pasted in in here. And we saw right away that the AI was able to pick up that that content was written by an AI. But when I um, did a scan on a blog post in which I did using a AI copywriter, but I also added in my own content, it was less likely, um, as you can see here, to pick up that AI content to reduce the likeliness of getting a penalty by Google or losing any of your keyword rankings, then I highly recommend that you do a scan of your website. And if you find any pages with high AI content, just go ahead and add some manual content because I was able to do that with some of my pages and I saw a quick decrease in the detected content. So you definitely can get around um, any of these AI checkers, but it is nice to have this um, tool available because um, it allows you to just be a little bit ahead of the curb and to protect your website. Originality.ai is still in its beta, but if you want to give them a try, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you got some value from this video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.